Uh, it's going to take a while, take a while to get used to this talking and playing at the same time. But it's fun. New challenges. So, uh, yeah, I decided to keep it at four tables. Um, I think that's a good number where I should be able to do both. And we should also have some fun action too. At all times, um, you know, online poker today is very fast. Not a lot of waiting around uh, compared to live poker. So, uh, so at the bottom here, bottom right uh, is the one K satellite to the ten K uh, high roller tonight. And there's about here. I'll put up the lobby for it up here. So there's. Uh, eight players left that we have the chip lead, two to one chip lead, uh, which is nice with four seats. So looking good there. Uh, that'll be fun to get into the 10K. Oh, thanks, Michael. Good luck at your day two. Take it down, buddy. Michael is a student of mine. Call him my prodigy because he's quite a bit younger and super hungry. He has all the motivation I had at that age. So it's uh, super fun to coach him. And he has a day two in Texas today. The mystery bounty. I think he's like 14 chips. Um, yeah, pretty good board for me. Not so good for my opponent. He should check here a bunch. Um, I should bet here quite often. And especially with my hand, you know, benefits a lot from betting. Can fold out like ace jack, ace queen even. Okay, yeah, and this is another satellite, uh, the one on the left. So these bottom ones are, are both satellites to the 10k. And then this top left. This is close, I think, but even yeah, I mean we have the eighth backdoor draw. It's not great. Would have preferred a hard, but still ace high versus bottom opening range and C betting. Um should be fine. No, we obviously fold. Uh, yeah. So the top one is another. That's a. It's a scoop event that started a couple hours ago. And uh, the blue table on the right is the five thirty bounty builder, which usually gets pretty big during scoop. Uh, yeah. Started about an hour ago. Is poker my only source of income? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not easy these days. Uh, it used to be a lot easier back when I started. Um, now it's really, really small margins and thin edges. Uh, but yeah, it's still my main source of income. Not my only source, but main source. I guess the question was if it was my only source and uh, yeah, it's my only consistent source. <laughs> I have some investments too, but I don't, you know, they don't generate any consistent income and I guess neither does poker. That's the downside of being or relying on poker winnings. You never know when your next paycheck is going to be. All right, so final eight here. The satellite.
could have probably shoved the queen seven there. Although I think it's it's a little bit dicey. Queen eight suited, I would choke. Get pretty nice leverage here with these two short stacks. Uh, so here we're gonna raise call. Might seem a little bit crazy, but actually has enough equity, especially blind versus blind and in a bounty tournament. People are shoving so damn wide, so it's definitely an induced spot. Um, I'm gonna call. I would three bet here sometimes, but I think my preferred play is to call, especially in a bounty tournament, for the same reasons that people are looking to get it in pre so wide. So obviously, we can't three bet calls. So. Check, check. Yeah, I don't see too much merit for Betty. Yeah, we were over the nuts. Um, yeah, here I'm going to check, but it's going to be tough to get value from. Much worse. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna over bet here. We reverse two pair straight. Nice, we get looked up. Uh, Ace X, Ace X, Queen Jack, Ace Eight. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Bit of a loose open, especially opening into the hundred fifty B big blind spot. Oh, yeah, easy shove here. Again, leveraging with the short stacks. Really good spot. So there's four seats. Here, I'll pull up the lobby again. Uh, four seats of... I mean, could probably shove air too, but rather just play it safe. Um, Yeah, here we're in the spot where the big blind actually 
can call. So we have to be a little bit more cautious. It's funny, in satellites, you rather shove into the big stacks than the short stacks, even though you're risking more. Let's see. Surprise, late, uh, late trade closes in two minutes. So this is a $200 eight max tournament that started well, three and a half hours ago and it's a third <laughs> third of the field left and you can still buy in <laughs> oh someone busted so. around the direct bubble here in the one case that yeah i'm just gonna protection bet Uh, it would be sweet to win two seats. What's going on here? So we're fifth with two seats. So this is a five hundred dollar tournament. So not a much harder to win a seat here. Only two entries, but also only thirty people left. So. Yeah, so there's four seats in the in the one K, the one on the left there, or sorry, right, bottom right. So we're on the direct bubble. Trips. Uh, okay, I see ships at the turn. No block bed here. So what I would do with a lot of two pairs. It's tough for me to have too many bluffs there. So I don't know if I can go much bigger than that. Yeah, I had King Jack. Makes sense checking back to turn. I would expect King Jack to bet there though sometimes. Mm -hmm. Queen four, yeah, racing this sometimes. Pull up my random generator here. Not to be confused with the uh, real time assistance. It's uh, giving me random advice. Okay, I'm checking. 
looking back. So yeah, I randomized a lot of my decisions to stay balanced. Boom, we won the seat. So I think, yeah, the tournament's already started. So we're in 100 big blinds. First uh, lobby. Easy field here. <laughs> the who's who of online poker, as you would expect. So who do we got here that I know? We have... Uh, Bowie effect, bit too easy, super aggressive player. Dom, Nietzsche. Uh, actually don't know these three guys. But I have them tagged, so I guess they're good. Or two of them tagged. This guy's from Mexico, so he's probably American. Armenia, Belarus, okay. I need to jump into the 1k as well, so it's also started. I just didn't want to fire up too many tables at once. Hi, what are your thoughts on the recent cheating allegations in the high stakes poker scene? Are you worried about RTA and ghosting when playing at your stakes levels? Um, yeah, of course. Um, especially, I mean, more so on certain sites. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it on PokerStars. I feel you can say a lot of things about PokerStars lately, but one thing, one thing they've always, or that I felt that they've always done well is security and game integrity. So I've always felt um, pretty confident playing on there that I'm not getting cheated and that they're on top of things. I know they have a, Pretty complex security department. Uh, this is not a fun spot. Or is this an unknown opponent? Yeah, it's tough to continue without any backdoors. We shouldn't get three bet there very often, so I'm fine with uh, check racing sometimes. I will call sometimes as well, but I randomized and happened to be a check race. Not a fun run out. <laughs> yeah, it gets worse. Jack four. Pocket fives. I mean, blind versus blind in spot is this range is still pretty wide, so. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, let's jump into the one K now. Yeah, it's wide open. I don't know why Pokestar started started using this or doing this that tables are popping up on top of it. My current ones. It's happened a few times now where I've timed out. It's really annoying. Without realizing oops. Without realizing I had a uh, table behind it. Fun hand in the tank air. It's so open under gun or under gun one, three bet next seat. Dumb cold force the big blind. Uh, not loving life here with nines, no diamond. Small blind should have all the sets. Should have ace four. Even some straights. Yeah, I don't think I can call this. Shana Lucas. What's everyone up to? Is anyone else playing tonight? <laughs> okay. All right, give us a 10. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Obviously, we can't value bet here the way the hand played out. Yeah. No, close. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I don't think I would have called the river there. If the river breaks. Uh, it would have been a tough spot, though. But really, I think that's the spot that's very underbluffed. Another all in. Wait, what happened here? So it was open, flat, three bet, call, and then four bet. Yeah. Bit too easy is one of the most absurd regs I've ever played with. 
I remember it was one time he three bet me three. I opened three hands in a row and he three bet me every single time. Um, I think that's this has only happened once before, and that was uh, versus Wushu uh, in the live tournament. I swear you faced a level of aggression. Yeah, we're looking in this satellite now. Five out of twenty-four. Three no two seats. But red still opens. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna get more than two. I definitely prefer to play live. Um, but I like the mix. I've always... Always preferred to mix it up. Um, I would say I've always split my time between live and online about equally. But during the pandemic, obviously, there was a ton of online and got quite boring, actually. It was fun for uh, the first couple of months. But um, after a while, I realized how much I missed just traveling and um, playing live and getting the social aspect of the game because online poker can get very lonely. But there's pros and cons to both. I mean, online poker is nice because it's convenient and you can play it everywhere. And you can be in your own home and you don't have to interact with anyone you don't want to. But I like playing live. It's also a lot, lot better value. Domination. Open other gun, three bet under gun one. I think there's like three hands now. Let's see if we get another cold four. I think we want to bet here. It's because there's so many hands that we can get called by. A naked ace of club will most likely check back. Just pot control and has showdown value. I 
agroblaster whale. <laughs> okay. We're going to block that here. I hope he has like pocket nines with a club. Maybe it's a bit optimistic. Yeah. check back is set here obviously it doesn't have it doesn't have many boats I shouldn't have that many as the collar and the low jack it shouldn't have, have that many naked ace x so it's like ace queen of clubs I mean with the ace of club so. but yeah again I think it's a spot that's very under bluffed, even with that note on him. Here we go again. See what happened in the other hand versus Dom and a bit too easy. Oh, wow. All right, so he opens ace five suited on the gun, down three bets, and he flats. That is pretty loose. Yeah, I can call here and so like. Uh and then well don't <laughs> don't flop top set and lose. Check calls with the gutter. Yeah, banks the gutter on the turn. Check checks, wow. Dom got kinda lucky there. Oh, wow, and he only calls here? Wow. Holy cow. How does he only call? With... What the fuck? <laughs> that is crazy. The only one he loses to is a five, and he shouldn't have many fives in his range. It's like pocket fives and ace five suited. That's it. Wow, he definitely lost the minimum there. Okay, break time. Good luck at the small club in Stockholm. Uh, which one is it? Curious if I played on there. Oh. 
Okay, and we're back. <laughs> oh, a crew count. Yeah, I've, I've been there once. What happened here? Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we would have hit our set. Uh... Yeah, I don't think that's the call on the satellite. I would have called in the normal circumstances, but that's going to happen a lot. When the big blind so short, it's going to show. And we're not going to be able to see a flop. So. Well, so he opens, was it ace jack? Ace jack versus ace king. Basically meant four bets small, quarter pots, ace king calls, check. Wow. Wow. That is pretty aggro. Oh, wow. He, oh, I mind checking back there. It's a board where the big blind should have a lot of check raises. And with the king nine, we have some showdown value. We have two overs. We have some backdoor. So, but of course, we can't call a check raise. So, I prefer to check it back more often than not. Here, I'll bet sometimes, but I'll also check back sometimes. I think, yeah, how much do I have here? Yeah, I think this is a shove. I think a common mistake here is to always bet the king when on the turn, but versus a a good opponent, it's gonna realize that we're gonna have a lot of kings in our check back range on this board. So he's gonna be tricky and check raise a bunch, even on the turn. So we can really get put in a, a lot of bad spots if we start betting too often here on the turn. And now this way we can induce some bluffs. Yeah, so wow, well, he went for it with the ace check. Bad check race fold by me with top pair earlier versus this guy. But didn't know that back then.
What's up? I would have called this, but when he's betting into three players, especially the small blind, I think his range should be a lot tighter for. Well, it should definitely be a lot tighter for continuation betting on the ace 10 board. They should hit the small blinds range pretty damn well. Limping here, all in in the satellite. Well, we're covering, so I guess we're not all in. Flip. Things are not going our way in the 10k so far. I think we've won a hand yet. But it's okay. Online, there's no control. Yeah, that's true. Online can can be dangerous because it's so accessible. He can literally play poker 24 hours if you want to. I guess that's true for most live games as well, but still takes a lot more. A lot more effort to go to the casino and decide, make a conscious effort that you're going to play, whereas online it's so available and keep attempting to play. I feel like uh, professional players have a bit it's the same struggle, but for different reasons. So as a professional, I sometimes struggle that with the fact that I get to decide how much or how little I want to play. So it can be tricky to find a sound balance between the two and not make yourself feel bad for when you're not playing to not feel lazy and have FOMO of missed opportunities. Whereas as an amateur, I remember <laughs> I just wanted to play all the time because it was so much fun. Yeah. This is close to 7-6. But yeah, with only two seats, you have to gamble a little bit more. We're still quite far away. Eight. Eight. Nope. Okay, let's see what else we can fire up. Uh, how about the $100 Super Tuesday, 300k guarantee?
his queen, you know, three betting sometimes. We got three bet this time. This guy is also pretty crazy. Pretty safe board. Shouldn't have many 5x if any other than ace 5 suited. Damn. 